Hey guys, welcome back to my colorful country life. Today I have a couple of acrylic marker sets to show you all. So a couple of months back I did a review of the Artex 60A set of acrylic paint markers and they've since sent me out two of their smaller sets. So one is the 30A set and the other is a 36D set and these are not a new product, they're already existing sets. Um, they're just a smaller version of the 60A set that I uh, was looking at a few months back. So the markers are exactly the same if you've seen my previous video. These are just a smaller um, smaller set, smaller collections and somewhat different colours as well. And I thought it might be nice to have a look at the colour selection in the smaller sets um, as maybe they could be a good option for those who just want to try out some of the uh, markers or maybe build their collection slowly. There are some overlaps in the color palettes between the sets that I just want to quickly go through and I will write a list of the duplicate colors down in the video description as well so you know which colors are in the multiple sets out of the three sets that I own that is. So if you are looking to purchase multiple sets just have a look at the color numbers in the video description to try to avoid as much doubling up as possible. Um, so with the 36D set there are 24 colors from this set in the 60A set that I showed you in my last video. And I'll tag that video up above um, if you want to have a look back at the information from that video as well. Now with the 30A set here, there are 15 colors that are also in the 60A set. And marker number 35 appears in all three of these sets. I'm pointing over there because my 60A set is on my acrylic stand next to me. So between these two smaller sets, let's have a look at the back here. There's only um, the number 35, which is a blue, and also the number 01, which appears to be white, um, that overlap in these two sets. So 35 is in all three, and the 01 is in these two. Um, I thought um, double zero was the white. That's in the 60A set, but this one appears to be a white as well. We'll check that out when we swatch. One of them might be a bit of an off-white. Now, I do use my white paint pens possibly more than any other colour, so having two is a plus for me. Um, it would be nice, however, to have all the sets with separate colours and no overlaps or duplicates. So if you did want to try a smaller set and then build up your collection, you could purchase a set at a time. So that would be nice uh, rather than have duplicates in the set. Now... Artex do have some of the markers for sale as open stock if you wanted to supplement colors that way. They cost a $1.50, that's US dollars, for each marker. But between just these two smaller sets, you're getting 64 unique colors. And then you could add onto it any of the colors that you feel are missing or would complement your collection as open stock direct from their website. They do have a couple of other sets. Um, uh, which is one of them is the 60B set which is the anime set that's a bit more pastel in tone I don't have that set myself but I did look it up on the website and I could see overlaps with the 60B set as well um, with these smaller sets too so there's also a 30B set so you got the 30A and the 30B and I did compare the color range from their website to the back of the colors on the 30A set and there were no overlaps so if you were, were to purchase the two 30 sets so 30a and 30b you'd have 60 unique colors but the 30b set does have some crossovers with this 36d set so i'll just summarize that in case that was a little bit confusing um between 30a and 30b sets all colors are unique now in terms of the three sets that i own these two have a white and a blue that overlap which is 01 and 35 so that is 64 unique colors and with the 60A set, which I have a video on, um, there are multiple crossovers, as I previously mentioned, in all of the sets. <laughs> so, yeah, the price for the 30B set is $39.59 on Amazon Australia. That seems to be a bit of a discounted rate at the moment. And the 36D set is showing up as a mid-year deal at $42.49. And I'll pop all the purchase links down below in the description as well. So let's open them up so we can swatch them out and see what colours come in each set. And we'll compare it to the colour range in the 60 set as well. 
Now I have gone through all the different uses for these markers and their properties in my previous video for the big set, the 60A. So if you are interested in hearing more about that, you can check out that video. Otherwise, let's start swatching. Oh, they don't seem to fit in here very well, do they? It's a bit of a tight fit. Um, so we have our thank you card with their social media links as usual. And we have our sticker set. Are they stickers? Yep, these are our stickers. It's looking like, let me lift this up. It's looking like we only have the, um, it's hard to lift it up with my nails, the large set of stickers rather than the small dot ones. Just double check that there's nothing under here. It's a bit more roomy. Um, no, so we only have the large overly type stickers here. Oh, this one. Hang on, I swear they said it was 01 on the back. One second. Maybe they renamed them. Let me lift this up. Yeah, so on the back it's 01 and on here it's double zero. But on here it's 01. So they must have renamed or renumbered the white to be double zero from 01 perhaps. Because the new, let me just grab one over here. Oh, so the 60A set here, um, this is the double zero, which is the white. And this is a new set. So they must have originally had it as a zero one and now they're calling it double zero. That is my assumption, but we'll swatch it out. The back um, of this box has zero one as the number instead of double zero. Okay, let's... Um, I wish they had the smaller stickers. These little stickers come with the 60A set and I had to stick them on myself individually. I wish they would come pre-stickered, <laughs> pre-stickered if that's a thing. Um, and I like that they have it on the back because I have them sitting this way in my acrylic storage. So um, I don't know where I'm going to be sticking these stickers. Have I pushed this out of order? I think I have. Oh no. That looks right. Um, yeah, so for them to be visible, I'm going to have to, let's have a look, I think, I don't want to put it on the lid because I could get the lids mixed up, so I'm going to have to put it on the barrel, um, and I think I'm just going to pop it on the end here, like that. I wish they had the small dot stickers. Okay. I think I'm just going to have to do that with all of them, but I will do that after this video so you don't have to sit and watch me stick stickers on like last time. Um, and I think we'll start swatching with the 30A set first. Let me pop this one back away. Okay, so I'll grab my swatch chart that I've just downloaded. Um... Is this up in the Facebook group? I can't remember. It could be up in the Facebook group or on my Kofi. I will um, tag it if anyone's interested in a copy of this blank swatch chart as well. So I've written in the numbers from the back of the boxes. So I've written 01 and 01, so I might have to change them. Maybe we'll see. Um, let's start with our 30 A set and I'll zoom you all in. Now I'm going to have to try and keep these markers in the correct order um so i don't mix them up before i stick the stickers on so let's just start with the white even though it's probably not going to show up
Okay, so that's the 30A set swatched out, and I'll just lift it a little bit closer. We've got a pretty good colour range here, I think. Now, the red, I was expecting it to be a bit more bright red. Um, you can see from the cap here how bright the cap is, so I was expecting it to be bright red. And look, these aren't fitting too well in the box, but I don't want to push anything down just in case they pop out of place and I haven't stuck my stickers on them yet. Um, but yeah, I was expecting it to be a little bit more vibrant, but as you can see from the tip, it's not that bright. It's more like a... Um, a pinky red like a carmine red instead of a bold vibrant red um but the blue here and the yellow here are really good primary colors and nice and bright and vibrant i'm really drawn to this yellow actually i'm keep wondering um if it would make a really good background um background color for maybe in small victories or perhaps in uh, a lulu mayo book now i do normally put a layer of pencil down before i put my um, acrylic paints over the top for a background just to get a nice smooth area and to make sure there's no streaks um so yeah you could use like a really pale yellow underneath like if you're using your prisma colors you could use a deco yellow underneath or maybe even a canary yellow and then that color on top and um these are opaque so the color underneath shouldn't change the color on top but i would go with a lighter color just in case um yeah, so I think that would look pretty. I am really drawn to that colour. This colour as well um, is a really pretty pink, like a peachy pink. Yeah, and we've got some nice light colours here which are good for basing um, and covering over your black lines as well if that's what you want to do with your acrylic markers. So now I think we're going to go on and swatch out the 36D set. So I'm going to put these back so I don't mix anything up and we'll grab the other set and I just want to check out and see if the double zero and the zero one are in fact the same and they've just got a new fresh number so this is our 36 D set um, these ones aren't quite fitting in too well either so I'll just double check that's a little bit better um, just have a quick check here so I've stuck that sticker on. Yep, yep. Yeah, they look like they're in the correct order. Still, I think, or oh, these two. Yep. Okay. Let's just start swatching, I think. Alright guys, I've kind of confused myself here. I did write down the marker numbers as they are written on the underside of the box. I can't flip it over because then everything will fall out. I've written down the number, the numbers in order that they, they are under the box. Actually, you know what I'll do? Um, I'll put it back together and flip it over because the numbers under the box don't match. Um, in the same order as the stickers so I think my order in my box is out of whack so let me just close it so I can flip it over and show you so I didn't open the box before I did this swatch chart I opened the box for the first time here on camera with you all so I've written down the order here but as you can see here um, can you see all that maybe not like that Okay, so we go to um, C09, and on the box we've got 17, 18, C19. So, but then here we've got C14 and C15. So I think this has been put into some sort of 
color order perhaps where this is kind of just jumbled up but I can't tell if the order let me just have a quick let me pull these out just want to make sure that I get them right I might have to check them against my 60 box to make sure that I get them in the right color order because you can see here um that one was double zero, I've got CO2, CO3, O3, O9. And then I'm assuming that's going to be C15, C14, C15, which would then be over here. And then we've got 17 and 18 will be, and C19 here. But then we've got C21. Hang on, let me get my swatch chart for the 60 set. All right, let's see if I can work out what's happening here. Um, here we go, 60A acrylic markers. So, C21 and what have I got? I've got a 42, so I've got these two colours. So I'm going to have to... Oh, jeez, okay. So, a three... Oh no, so C14 is definitely this one. And I think this is going to be C19. Nope, that looks like a C19. C19 is very light. So 17, 18, C19. What is this? I need some scrap paper. All right, I think this is going to take me a minute to swatch and work out the correct order. Um, I'll just zoom it out a little bit here and I might have to start sticking the stickers on as we go.
Okay, so that took me a minute to figure out, but the markers were actually in the box in the same order as the stickers were. So uh, that was actually a numerical order, which is different from the order on the back of the box. So glad we got to the bottom of that one. Um, now, if we have a look here at the 01 in the 36D set, which has been renumbered as double zero, and the 01 here, and the double zero here, all three colors are exactly the same. So that is your white, it's just been renumbered. So if we compare the color selection to the 60 set, you'll see that the 60 set has the neons and the metallics, uh, which none of the smaller sets do. And in terms of versatility with the smaller, smaller sets, the 36D set is catching my eye more. It has the lighter, more pastel tones for basing and covering black lines. It's also got some deep, rich colors for backgrounds as well. Now, the 30A does as well, but I think in the 36 set, and probably because we have 36 colors rather than 30, um, we do have more of a split primary range with the warm and the cool tones. So we do have a great mix here. I'm loving this color, this color specifically as well. We've got some beautiful... Um, pale yellows, creams and the white as well and this one has a nice vibrant red. So I hope that was helpful for you and um, I will link any uh, purchase details down in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye for now.